Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do our final house flipper episode. We're going to work on the exterior of the house and get that fixed up. Uh, but it is nighttime, um, so I think before we do that, we have three uh, treasure chests uh, that we have here. Two of them are really close by, and we might hit those first and wait until morning before we get started in earnest on the house flipper. Though it's actually it's pretty bright outside. I guess we could... We could still maybe start working on it. I don't know, but let's let's at least get the two treasure chests that are close by. Uh, because, you know, it won't take that long to do that, and then we'll, we'll see where we're at from there. Okay, so that means I want the auger. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we got lockpicks. Uh, we want the auger. We're going to want some gasoline for the auger. So let's grab that. And then how are we doing on food and drink? We do need to eat something. Um, here, we just got this. So let's just eat this boiled meat here. <clears throat> three, we'll, we'll start with three of those and we'll see how that does. And, um, let's down this mineral water. And that should hold us in good stead for a while for hydration. Um, okay, so, yeah, alright, let's go. So, yeah, our main uh, goal for today, though, of course, is to get the exterior of the house taken care of. Make it look nice on the outside. It looks pretty cool on the inside. I'm, I like how it all came together. Um. Okay, so Claude's treasure map. It's just right over here. Not very far away at all. Let's go see what Claude has for us. Okay. Let's start digging here. Oh, we got somebody's attention. That drone is useful, man. <laughs> I would not have heard her had she not said something. Hold still. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what. The next time we... Uh, the next... Uh, season of Seven Days to Die, which is going to be Undead Legacy. We're going to make one of these as soon as possible. Super useful. Okay, let's continue on. You keep watch, my dear. You keep watch. And there it is. Anybody coming after us? Okay. Incoming enemies. Oh. Prepare for conflict. Okay, I'm preparing for conflict. Nice. Okay, let's see what we got. There we go. Okay. Overall, not bad stuff at all. Not bad stuff at all. Okay, let's go. Um, we have another one, treasure map that's pretty close by. Uh, it's this one here. So let's make that the active quest. And uh, that's over by the town there. Okay, let's go do that one next. All right. Nope, not done yet. <clears throat> and another one. Okay. Are we finished now? We're probably going to call this Larry the Lumberjack over here to us once we start. Here, let's get the mountain line out of the way, too. Okay, I think we've cleared the immediate vicinity. Um, we are... We have an abrasion. Let's... Uh, where's the bike at? Let's take a small uh, bandage for that. 
And we'll do a health bar. And let's uh, also take an eye candy right before we open the treasure this time, because I forgot to do it last time. Okay, let's do this. Uh, nope, here comes more. That guy's stuck. I don't know, not anymore. Okay. Anyone else? There's a dire wolf over there. Man, look at him dodging my shots. Okay. Now can we get started? Let's do it. Well, nice steel club. And uh, again, pretty good stuff overall. Not too bad. All right. So I will meet you guys back at the house and we will start doing some house flipper on the exterior of the house. So I'll see you guys back there. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and grab all of our paint. And our paint brush. And get started on the outside of the house. It's still nighttime, but um, it'll, it'll brighten up here pretty soon. It's not actually that dark out here either. Uh, so first and foremost, we want to decide what to use for our siding. Um, so let's take a look and see what our options are. The siding that's on there now is pretty ragged looking. Um, is if we do this, okay, so these are our options. This wood blue siding is a little nicer or wood siding tan. These are all like the paints cracking and stuff. What does that look? Oops. What's that look like? I mean, it's it's better. <laughs> it's still not great though. Um, but we're just we're so limited with our options is the problem. There's also green. I think green's gonna look exactly the same, but just green. Um. All right. Well, let's just look one more time. These are all the same style the, with the peeling paint. That's burnt. Beer cooler side. Stainless steel. Da, 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 da. Cabinet red side. Let's remove siding and just... Uh, there are br brick options, actually. Um... No, I'm not I'm not feeling it for for brick. Not feeling it for brick. So it's really a question of do we want green or blue? Uh I think we're just going to go with that siding there. Let me look one more time. So um there's concrete trim. There's a metal duct, a metal corrugated, metal plate. I've, you know, I've said this a hundred million times, it seems, but I wish we had some nice looking textures. I mean, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that somebody in the apocalypse could get to the point where they could, um, you know, make a fix a place Master, up we are not alone. to make it look nice, you know? Looks like we might need to repair that. Okay. Uh, I was I was considering something here when that zombo showed up. What was it? We were looking at this, right? 
More paper. Oh, yeah, the log cabin sighting. That actually could look okay. How? What's it actually look like, though? Eh. I don't know. It's pretty ragged, you know, ratty looking, too, actually. <laughs> you think about it. Um, all right. There's redwood. There's the metal corrugate stuff. Wood siding 10. Is that... Oh, I think that's the same as these. It's just the, the tan version. Wood siding white 2. Let's look at this one. Hmm. That's actually not terrible. It definitely has a weathered look to it, but it's not quite as shabby looking, I guess. It's just weathered. Okay, let's keep that one in mind, actually. Um, so there's also wood siding white, too. Okay, yeah, so same idea, but it's just kind of whitewashed looking. And again, not... Not terrible? Weathered, but not necessarily, you know, shabby looking? Hmm. I think this yellow's gonna have more of a peeled paint look to it. Yeah, yeah, that looks terrible. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I, I'm kind of feeling... I'm kind of feeling the wood siding tan is the least crappy looking of all of these. Because the white, you know, does give it a little bit more of a peeled paint look, whereas this looks more kind of natural, just weathered. I mean, it, it looks like shit, too. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it does, but... I mean, like I said, lesser of two evils, right? So I think we're going to go with this siding here. All right, so that now that we've decided that, we want to go um, paint surface and go around and get uh, the siding. I'll, I'll fix the weird, you know, trim piece thing and medoodles that happen. Uh, so, yeah, let's go around and paint the, the whole surface. All right, that's actually an individual piece there, and I kind of like that idea. So let me do something here real quick. We're going to go... Uh, let's go back to here for a minute. Well, no, actually, let's not do that right now. Since everything's already set for the siding, let's just get this part taken care of first. This uh, paint surface option is very useful. We're going to have to replace these corner blocks if we want to keep doing the, the trim look. Which we can do. Okay, nice. So that takes care of that that part. Now, we have... Um, here, get up there. We have the, uh, the upper part here, which has that shingle look. Um, what would we maybe want to do with that? Instead of the shingle look. Because the shingles... I mean, it's not terrible. It's not that great either, but it's not terrible. But what if we went with a nicer looking wood look? Um, like maybe... Wood crown oak, wood fence, western wood, wood barricade. 
Wood painted to vertical. This is the kind of that shiny looking oak, which I don't think would look good on the on an exterior. What does wood fence look like? Eh, it doesn't really seem like something that would be on an exterior look. Of course, it would kind of match the window sills a little bit, wouldn't it? I keep saying wood. <laughs> it would, wouldn't it? Wood? Kind of. Wood. Yeah, okay. Um. All right. Not convinced that I like that. So what about... What about this wood? It's a little better, maybe? You know, we could also go with the red wood that we did with the deck. Hmm, that's an idea, because then it would match with the deck. Okay, so which one was that? That was, I think, this redwood here. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what we want. I think that's what we want. We might end up doing the exterior trim of the windows in this, too. Okay, cool. So let's set this back to, um, or turn this off. Um, yeah, set it to there. And then, yeah, do this. Didn't quite hit that one there. Okay, yeah, I like that. I think that works. Actually, I think that works quite well, in fact. Okay, let's go do the same thing on the other side now. Now we should be able to go back to here and get the rest of that. Okay, cool. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. Now, next thing is um, let's do. <clears throat> I, I, I think we should do like the trim pieces in this red, too. I think that that's what we need to do. So what we can do here is. Uh, t uh, go back to this one here. Now we're going to need to find this block here. All right, so let's look in our blocks. Um, It's going to be... All right, guys, I finally found the block. Man, I don't know why it took me such a long time to find it, but uh, we finally found it here. What I ended up having to do is... I took all the blocks out around this other one and then painted it different colors just to try and figure out what the shape was. Um, and I guess I just wasn't putting the right uh, search terms in. So uh, copy rotation. So anyway, I finally figured it out. So, okay, let's proceed then here. Um, so we're going to want to go back to... Excuse me. Uh just normal shapes oh it's cube trim quarter edge by the way it's two-sided uh, for those of you who are curious yeah i don't know that just seemed harder to find than it should have been but it's probably just me okay let's take this block out and then we want to put let's do uh copy shape and copy rotation and put that in there okay now we want to go um, uh, eyedropper here, texture picker for these parts. And then for the trim, we're going to go with this. And I think that's going to look nice. 
Okay. Cool. Uh, so yeah, we finally figured that out. I wonder if we should do an inside trim for these corners. I don't know. Let's let's get the outside ones done first, and then we'll figure out the inside one. Okay, so that takes care of the the outside corners. Um, I'm not convinced we want to do the inside corners yet. Let's get the window trims done next, and then we'll then we'll see where we want to go from there. Uh, okay, so we want to get this texture picked here, and we. Sh what happens if we do this? Doesn't, I don't think it's going to matter for these pieces here. Oh, crap. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to hit this right there. Why can't I paint that thing? That little piece right there. Um, Do we need to go... All sides? Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, it won't let me paint that piece. Uh, we do not want all sides. Okay, now let's go back to single brush and fix that piece. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know why those corner pieces won't paint. It's going to be irritating as I'll get out. Whenever I hit him, it wants to paint this. Hmm. Okay, well, if that's the way it's going to work, that's the way it's going to work. Uh, do we want red doors? Uh, it doesn't look like we can paint the doors. Yeah, that that's kind of a bummer. It's going to look like shit, but I don't know what to do about it. It doesn't... Uh, Seem to want to let me paint it. So, all right, whatever. Let's just move on then. Uh, oops. No, we need this piece here. Oh. Okay. We got it. Uh, we got it there at that time. Um, let's see. Texture pick. Get that back. If we grab it right here on the top, where did I hit that at? Kind of like right in this area. Um, like this? Okay. It's like there's a really small area on the piece that it registers. I haven't been able to figure out exactly where that area is, so in the meantime we're screwing up our other siding, but that's okay. We'll fix it later. Come on, man. What the hell? There.
<laughs> it just doesn't want to take here. Yeah, that that one is just stubborn as all get out. What happens if we took this off and then tried it like here? It does not want to paint. Wow. Okay, well, let's try these other ones. Yeah, that one went. There's no obvious spot that I can tell that I have to hit to get it to work, though. All right, well, uh, those don't even have those pieces down. That one worked. Work. 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 Went. Worked. Whatever. <laughs> Come on, mouth. Okay, that one took. I wonder if uh, it almost seems like it works better if I stand a little further away from it as opposed to right up in front of it. Why that matters, I don't know. And maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just a random thing happening here. All right, let's try uh let's try that a little further away this time. Yeah, this one just plain does not want to cooperate. Oh, it finally went. Okay. And that one went now. Okay. So <laughs> yeah, that's really bizarre, man. Uh, okay, well, here's what we're going to do then. Uh, I'm going to uh, copy shape. Uh, wait, is that an individual shape or is that... Because if I do... Oh, it ha you know what? It goes back to the fact that it, here again it doesn't... It's having a hard time recognizing that I'm actually selecting that shape. What if we do it from further away like we were before? I'm not convinced that really matters either, but it's just a having a hard time figuring out that that's what I'm trying to select. Okay, well, let's see if we can just figure out what that shape is then instead. Uh, so it's going to be a trim piece, and it's going to be a real small corner thingamadoodle. Uh, oh, actually, no. You know what? It's probably in the Windows section. Uh, or not. No? Okay. Uh, let's go back to the trim pieces then. Okay, there's pull double corner. I'm just looking for the real small looking blocks here. Cube dome bottom. What? I don't even see. Oh, I see it there. Yeah, it's in the corner. That's not quite what we're looking for. I don't. I. I can't even begin to imagine what you call that thing. So searching for it's. Not really an option. Door trim corner. Would it be like window trim corner? Let's just try that and see. Window trim. Yeah, nothing comes up. Corner. Nope. Window trim. All right, what if we did trim corner? That's door trim corner. Is that is that it? 
No, you know what I think this has got to be now that I think about it? It's probably... Well, here, let's confirm. Is this an individual piece, or is it part of this piece here? It's part of that piece there. Okay, okay. Now, now I understand what's going on. Okay. So, what we actually want then is... Uh, let's go back to window trim. And we want... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, window trim top right. Window trim top middle. Top left trim top. Is it that one? Nope. Maybe this isn't called window trim. What about top middle? Oh, I know what we can do. Here, let's just uh, copy this block. Yeah, okay. I don't know which one that is. Um, it's probably this one here. Oh, yeah, window trim bottom, duh. <laughs> okay. All right. We figured that out. So let's go ahead and take this off. That doesn't go there. My right. senses have picked up something. Have your sensors picked up something? Okay. Go away. I don't have time for you right now. Now we know what we're working with here. So, uh, uh, is there anything else on this side? Well, it's going that direction. No. Okay. Uh, okay. Why aren't you going down there? Oh, Right, because the railing is going to mess up the side windows. Mm, okay. Uh, I'll have to think about how we're going to deal with that. Okay, these are all still in place here. The railing's going to screw this one up. Okay. Now we get to fight this again, but at least we know what the piece is for future reference. Yeah, we hit it that time. I wish there was a, you know, a a specific spot to point at, but I just haven't been able to figure it out. You know? It's just weird, man. Okay, so, what are we going to do about this situation? Um, we could put in a copy shape Let's put those in there. <clears throat> uh, I, I don't think we can put anything in. I think it's just going to have to stay that way. Because I don't want to mess up the rail. The rail's just the way it is. So, yeah. Okay. Decisions made. We're, we're just going to leave it this way. Okay. Let's get this done. Yeah, we got the same thing going on here now, too, because it doesn't quite want to hit that corner piece. <laughs> Such a pain in the ass, man. I've got a bad feeling about this. 
Not as bad of a feeling as he has about it. Alright, come on, you bastard. We're like completely screwing up our paint job everywhere else just trying to get these stupid things to work right. Let's go back to here. There we go. We got it. Okay. I'm not even going to bother trying to fix the rest of it until we get the wind, the trims done because those are the ones that are giving us all the grief here. Um, I want the outside, outside. Okay, same problem here. Okay, we got that one. At least it's not consuming my paint when I when it's missing. That would really be irritating. It's like there's just a tiny there we go. There's like a tiny little pixel or group of pixels that registers that, you know, and then the rest of it doesn't. All right, let's copy this block here and copy its rotation. already on too so we'll switch this back to a normal cube there we go that one took let's go around to this side There we go. Okay. All right, guys. I think I've figured this out. If you get right on the seam, I mean right on the seam, it seems to... See what I did there? Seems to work part of the time. <laughs> um... Yeah, so let's try this one. So if we get right on the seam, there. Now it paints. I mean, it shouldn't be that way, I don't think. See, now this one's not cooperating, though. Um, It's such a pain in the ass. I, I, I ended up cutting the camera because, you know, this is taking so long. And I was just figured, well, I'm just wasting disk space recording me doing this over and over and over and over again. And I thought that once I figured out the seam that we had it, but this one is not cooperating, so I guess we don't quite have it. It worked, you know, like two or three times in a row when I did it that way, but no, as you can see, it is not. So fun pimps have got to fix this. This is ridiculous, man. I've wasted too many years of my life trying <laughs> try to... Uh, Get this stupid thing to paint. Yeah, see this net. Yeah, it's just not working on the seam now. When I, I thought we had it. Uh, anyway, I've got everything done except for this one. Um, so I guess I'll just keep randomly hitting it in whatever locations. Uh, we we have the ones upstairs to do too. So I will. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, what I'll do is bring you guys back after I get the rest of... Okay, that one went. It does seem to proc more often on the seam, but certainly not all the time. 
No. Okay, that one went too. All right. Anyway, yeah, I'll get the I'll get the rest of these done, and then I'll fix all of the, you know all the painting that this screwed up, and get us back to where we were before we um, proceed with the next next part of this. All right, guys. Uh, finally got those window sills done. Oh my goodness, that was just such a pain in the ass. Uh, one thing I realized, uh, though, uh, as we were putting these other blocks up, is we never um, actually upgraded them. Um, so I'm gonna actually do that and then go around and re-paint them after they're all upgraded. And then uh, once I get that done and I get everything fixed, you know, from all the the paint overflow or spillage or whatever that we had, uh, I'll bring you back at that point and then we're we're getting close. Uh, we really we just maybe have to do a little bit of work on the eaves and then I think we'll be good to go on this so yeah I'll bring you back when we're back where we need to be all right guys we have pretty much fixed everything um, now what I think I want to do is we could make these posts uh, the redwood color too Uh, that needs to be fixed. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks uh, appropriate. So let's go get all the porch posts done here. All right, now, um, for the soffit, I mean, this definitely looks appropriate for soffit. It's just like, you know, everything else with the paint in this game, it looks like crap, <laughs> you know? Uh, is there something that we could do that would be just look a little nicer uh, and that will fit? Concrete red. Um, wood ceiling, wood crown, wood barricade. What about this wood fence option? Um, 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 may, maybe, maybe. Not convinced yet. I gotta get the flavor of it a little more here. Okay, let's um let's step back and see how we feel about that. Uh, I, I don't I like the design. Uh you know the wood grain and all that. The color I mean I guess the color kind of matches the doors, don't they? I can't paint the doors, unfortunately. Alright, uh what other options would we have with this? There's what is the wood, uh, wood floor polish? No, that's not going to look good. What about this wood fence? Here, let's just do this, actually. Um, yeah, here. Um... Hmm. Again, it's not it's not terrible, but I'm not not real convinced I like it. We paint all of this the same. Actually, I guess that's not too bad. I, 
guess that's not too bad. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, let's, well, here, let's keep that in mind. Let's keep that in mind. Let's just look a couple more times. So this is, um, wood old. That's just, yeah, that's just kind of the generic wood look. Uh, no, I don't like that quite as much, I don't think. Uh, okay, back to here. There's wood oak. No, that doesn't look appropriate for outside. Wood floor polished. Yeah, same thing. Not really an exterior looking texture. So this wood fence we like the most. What is the wood crown? No, that's weird. wood barricade that's probably gonna yeah that's just like plywood look texture uh, western wood I don't think I'm gonna like it but let's look at it anyways eh. well nah uh, honestly I think I think I like this one the most let's just look one more time there's the tar paper look. Rough cut wood, reinforced wood. I think those are all going to look like the more generic stuff. Wayne's coating. Did we look at that? Yeah, it's. I mean, actually, that kind of looks nice. It's it it's the same as this, but it's got a like a a varnish on it. Ooh, you know what, you guys? I kind of like that, actually. Yeah. I kind of like that. Yep, let's go with that. Okay, let's go with that. All right, so we're going to basically do all of this undercoating and soffit in this. It's just, it, it's the same design, but, you know, it's got that lacquered kind of look to it. Uh, this is kind of weird over here, but I don't think I can do much about that, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Well, let me go around and get all the soffit uh, stuff done, including up above. And then I, I think we're pretty much finished with our exterior painting here. Okay, so there is one final thing I want to do here, uh, and that's the this tram along here. Again, that looks terrible. What if we actually just go with this? It kind of doesn't look bad, but it doesn't quite look right either. What if we go back to that other wood texture that we also liked for here? Hmm, not convinced, actually. What other options do we have? What if we actually... What's this? Pill case side. Oh, that's not terrible. It's a little ratty looking, but it's not terrible. Uh, along those lines, though, there was something else I wanted to look at. Uh, there's drop ceiling, carpet. No, I don't want carpet. Pill case side, black granite, no. Black TV screen. I mean, that would make it nice and black, but it would also make it really shiny, which might look a little weird. Let's just try it and see what it looks like. 
Yeah, see how it's got the shine on it? It's just a little... If it was more of a matte finish, I would go with that, but it's kind of weird. Uh, okay, so I think pill case side I, I like the most here. This is what it currently is, or what it was originally. Pill case side. Black granite's not going to look right either. I mean, it's it's a little ratty looking, but I think it'll work. It's not, not as ratty looking as what was there before. Okay. So let's go down here. And oh, we gotta hit we gotta hit that other piece. Are there yeah, here we go. This is what I wanted to do. Get these pieces here. Whoops, we got underneath. Okay, well anyways, you guys get the idea. So let me finish this up and then I'll bring you back and we'll admire our handiwork. All right, guys, I think we are finally finished with the house. Let's just uh, do a double check on the roof and make sure everything looks good up here, which it should. Uh, okay, let's go down this way. This all looks good. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So this is what it looks like from the front. Um, you know what we might actually do? Let's go into um, fly mode just so we can really get the flavor. Oh, we got one little spot right there. There we go. So yeah, that's what she looks like on the outside. Not too bad, you know, considering what we had to work with. Oh, I am going to um, replace that crappy looking door, too. I like it. I like it. Very nice house. Uh, okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's, um, let's go here, and uh, we want to go into this menu and go door. Uh, furniture, maybe? Is that what we're looking for? Furniture, cloth, other steel, concrete, corrugated, brick. Uh, no, that's a residential cabinet door. All right, how do I get this on uh, everything? I messed with this before, but I don't remember how I did that. 
props building. Props outdoor, prop helpers, player blocks. Okay, wood. None of these bring up doors. Uh, okay, what the hell, man? All right, what if we do this? Door. There we go. Okay. Uh, so we want... Which door do we want here? This house front door. I think that's the one we want. Whoops. Yes, that is the one we want. All right, let's get rid of this other door first. Oh, wait a minute. That's the door right there. Okay, we already got it. Okay, let's get rid of that. Just needs a little touch up. Okay, cool. Well, there's the house, guys. There's the house. It's pretty, it looks pretty good. I, you know, if you don't mind my saying so, it really does. Uh, considering the limited, nice looking, you know, paints and textures that we have to work with in this game. I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Let's take another look at the interior. Uh, oh, you know what? We do have to fix a couple things in here. All right, so let's copy that. We want to make sure it's just on uh, surface. Anything else? Okay, I don't see anything else that's messed up there, so let's copy this. And that looks okay. All right, so yeah, this is this is our crafting room. And um, this is how it turned out. And I think it looks really good. Really, uh, really good. Okay, this is the main entry way. And we fixed this up in a, a previous house flipper episode. Uh, oh, we got some more issues here just from what we were doing from the outside. So let's fix this. And do this. Okay, I think that looks good. Looking good. This is our little bathroom here. There, there aren't any toilets, sinks, or bathtubs in this game that look nice. They're all cruddy looking, so we can't really do much about that. All right, and then over here we've got, I guess, a, a living room or a family room or something. Uh, we redid the fireplace a little bit, so that all looks pretty good. We kept the, the yellow um, wallpaper there. Looks like I have a couple places to touch up down here. Let's get this. And we want to texture pick that. There we go. Okay, that's looking good. And then this uh, goes into our kitchen area, which we fixed up. It looks pretty, you know, as nice as it can, you know, again, with what we had to work with. Uh, here we go. We got another area here that has to get touched up. And I think everything else looks pretty good in here. And yeah, so that's it for the downstairs. Let's go upstairs. So we come up these stairs and we got like this little office area here. I decided to stick with the brown uh, wallpaper. It's pretty shoddy looking, but it does, you know, color wise it fits. And we've got a nice little nook over here where we can sit down and read books at night. Um, and then this is a bedroom over here. I uh, I don't think that's supposed to be like that. So we'll fix whoop, fix that up. All right, and then uh, another bedroom on this side. And uh, looks like everything still okay in here. We didn't mess anything up. And that's the house. So it's a nice house. Definitely a nice house. I really enjoyed um, doing house flipper on this and. 
you know, fixing this place up as a part of this series. Uh, very much so. All right, you guys. Well, uh, here's the deal. Uh, I am going to be uh, gone for effectively two weeks. Um, I'm leaving tomorrow. Today is March the 19th. I'm leaving tomorrow on Sunday uh, to travel to Washington State, and I'm going to be there uh, for family reasons uh, for a week. And then when I get back uh, the following week, I, I have to turn right around and fly to Chicago for a business uh, trip. Uh, which means I'm not going to really be back in the saddle until like April, the early part of April. Um, my plan when I get back for this series is uh, to do a, a tier five uh, because I have not done a tier five in Alpha 20 and I've heard they're pretty hard. Uh, so we're going to do a tier five. And then once we get through, you know, at least one tier five, maybe we'll do a couple. We'll see how it goes. Uh, then we're going to end this uh, vanilla season, uh, vanilla series and start up with uh, an Undead Legacy series. So that is the plan. When exactly that'll happen? Well, obviously it's not going to happen until I get back in two weeks. Um, so probably I would expect sometime, you know, in first, second week of April, um, we should be able to wrap up this series and then start with Undead Legacy in, in we'll say, about around mid-April. Okay, so thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video. And we will catch you uh, in a couple of weeks into the next episode. Bye-bye.